Hello class. Today we are going to start with a new topic which is given on page number 45. Inserting word art. Now first of all I would like to explain you what is word art. Word art feature actually allows the user to create special text effects. Okay. It gives you a unique look, a different look to the text. By using word art, you can create decorative effects such as curved, wavy, shadowed, three-dimensional, etc. Now, how to apply word art? First, I would like to explain you. As you can see on your screen, the Microsoft Word is already open. Now, what I'll do, I'll first click on the Insert tab. When I click on the Insert tab, there is one group, Text. In the text group, you have word art and there is a small drop down button. Click on this drop down button. You can see different styles. You can see different styles. Okay. Let's say I want to choose this one. When you click your text here. All right. Here you can type your text. Remove it. I will type computer. In the same manner, the text will appear on the screen. From here, I can revolve the text wherever I wish. Okay. And when you click on the word art, by default, again, the format tab has opened. A new tab comes on the, your MS Word screen by the name format. From here, you can format your word art text okay you can give any design shape style anything you want see but for that you have to select it okay shape fill any color that you wish text fill any color Text outline, text effects, see, can you all see that, alright, this is how you can make the changes in the word art, okay, now the next, if you want to delete it, what you will do, select it and press the delete key from the Sorry. Select your word art and press the delete key from the keyboard. The next topic is clip art. Clip art is actually a gallery of pre-designed pictures that can be inserted directly in a document. Now, how can you insert a clip art in your document? Click on the insert tab. Go to the illustrations group. Clip art. You can see a clip art button has opened. Now type, for example, I want a picture of human. Then click on go. N no results found. Okay. Uh, car. I can find it. You can see. You can only find the pictures which is there in your Microsoft Word memory let's say plants enter okay animals now how to insert for example i want to insert this rabbit so what i will do i will click it and you can see the moment you click the picture will get highlighted from all these arrows you can increase the size or decrease the size you can rotate the picture okay you can picture border you can do anything that you wish any type of formatting picture effect shadowed picture layout you can put the text also but I don't want to put it here okay color
if you want to do any corrections here also in the same color you can do some corrections so these type of things you can do in your clip art picture image as well if you want to close it click on the cross button okay but for doing any kind of formatting you have to first select the picture now the next topic is adding what uh, watermark now first i would like to explain you what is watermark if you just turn your computer textbook at the back page number 112 112 can you see al kips is written on the page it's a little highlighted uh you know a shady one k i p s this is watermark now what is watermark watermark can be defined as a dim or faded impression of an image or text on paper which is placed behind the text in your document now if if you have seen the any appointment letter of your father or your mother okay on that appointment letter the name of the company name or the logo is printed over there it's little in dim or faded impression is there. So that is a watermark. Now how to create watermark. Okay. What you have to do is you have to click in the page layout tab. In the page layout tab, you have page background group. In the page background group, you have watermark button. Click on it. You can see a few samples are there confidential confidential to do not copy like this but if you want you can make your own watermark how for that you have to click on the custom watermark it is taking some time custom watermark now what you want no watermark picture watermark or text watermark you can put picture watermark also and text watermark now let's go one by one first we'll do text watermark so i have clicked on pick text watermark which language english what is the text what text you want your name let's take it your name mm. okay let's type logics the name of your book in capital letter l o g i x Font is Calibri, size is auto, color, which color you want. I want transparent, semi-transparent. Let's take it. Color yellow, diagonal or horizontal. What do you want? Let's say diagonal only. Apply. Cross. Can you see on your screen the word logic is there? It's a dim and faded impression on the page. It won't affect the text that you type. If you want to see, I'll show you. I'll just do. Won't affect your text. Is it affecting your text? No. Okay, so this is watermark. Now, the next is I want to make it picture watermark. So, how to do picture? Click on the picture watermark. Now, select the picture. Now, you have to select the picture from your gallery itself. Uh, I don't find any good picture. Let's see. Sample pictures. Okay, let's take this penguins one. Insert. The picture name will be selected. Select auto, yes, apply. Close. You all can see the picture of penguin is there. In the same way, you can put the company's logo also. So, for the logo, logo is a picture. So, you have to insert the picture. The, the logo, pic, the uh, picture of the, of the company's logo should be there in your system. Then only it will be printed. Can you see? Again, if you do typing, see? It will not affect the typing. Okay, 
this is the watermark now the next topic is applying borders and shading let's delete whatever we have done so far applying borders and shading how to apply borders and shading to improve the appearance and legibility of the text we can add a variety of borders and shading effects to the paragraphs of the entire page now let me show you how to do this see on this window you can already see few text is already typed okay I want to add the borders and shading button. So what I will do, I'll click on the home tab in the paragraph group. And there is one border button. Okay. I'll click on this borders and shading button. And here it is. Dialog box has opened. Now I want to box. What should be the for say I want this line color I want something dark red thickness should be this much okay in the same way I can do here also for that I have to again select the text sorry I have not selected the text that is why it was not again go to the borders and shading button select the you can do shade, shadow also. You can select 3D also. Let's do 3D. Select the line. Anything you can take. Let's take this one. Color. Blue. Width. I want this much. Okay. Alright. This is how you can do the changes. Okay. In the borders and shading shading also you can do shading also color which color you want red style what do you want solid 5% less 15% 20% whatever you want color pattern what you want okay with red i want yellow apply to paragraph yes <laughs> okay this is how you can do the shading as well if you want to go back you didn't like it what you will do press ctrl plus z so you will go to the next previous formatting okay the next topic is inserting cover page now what is cover page ms word provides a gallery of pre-designed cover pages now let's see what is cover page what you need to do is again click on the insert tab okay go to the pages group and click on cover page and there's a small drop down arrow you can see built-in cover can you see built-in means it's already there predefined you can see so many different cover pages. Cover page means the first, the you know, as you can see in your computer book, what the cover page of your computer book, the first page, the cover page. Okay. So here also you can do. I can do whatever type the document title I want logix okay. document subtitle as five if you want you can pick the data as well if you don't want you can twenty third author 
whatever is the author. Tips of publications. This will be the cover page of your book. Okay, this is the cover page. The book cover page will look like this. You can do the selection. You can make the changes. Design tab. Layout. Sorry. Yeah, from here. Select it. can do the designing as well so this is all for today class i hope you have understood each and everything okay do practice it at your home in your pc then only you will be able to understand each and every topic clearly thank you children